Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here. Just showing you my Bid Me channel page that I just put up, which I actually started back in August of this year. As you can see, the date below, August 19, 2017. Yeah, it even shows um, someone watching it. <laughs> it even has so many views up here as well as video points comment points yeah absolutely zero because I added no comments there's also YouTube as a follow-up which has uh, those subscribers that I have so far with Twitter and Facebook it has a description and of course the title Joku85 my channel for movie reviews and videos and I was birdified too. Yeah, picture of me. And you can see, um, well, for the most part, but it's all crop in half. That's my um, my channel banner, just like how I put it on YouTube. And here's all my videos that I posted up. Um, some of them have thumbnails that I posted up on YouTube. Others are just standard ones. I figured, <laughs> why not? And I was posting every single video up here. So this is considered to be my backup channel. So in case, you know, I, I would be safe if something goes wrong. And so far so good, after posting all these videos, nothing had went wrong right here. So there's like so many of them all the way. I'm just going all the way down as fast as I could. Um, yeah, there's like so many... I'm like going all the way down from my latest videos all the way through the past. <laughs> yeah. And they all have all these votes right here. Like they always voted them. Upvoting how many we got. And there's also watched because I did check them out. <laughs> uh, wow. <laughs> That's pretty much it. <laughs> now, the main reason why I'm doing this is because I just found out already on top of the message, as you can see, it says, We're sad to announce that BidMe will be shutting down on December 15. And I'm just going to click it right now, as soon as I try to get out of here. It's going all over the place. Here we go. Come on. I know this internet's just giving me issues. So here's a message from Warren Schaefer, the co founder at BidMe, which he uploaded on December 1st, nine minutes ago. And it says, Goodbye for now. BidMe came a long way as an independent platform, but we couldn't find a path to sustainability. We're building something new. So, look at the picture right here. Yeah. It's all information right here saying, After careful consideration, the BidMe team has arrived at the difficult decision to suspend the BidMe site and apps. We use this blog to post to explain what this means for users, how we got here, and what's next for us. What this means for users, new signs up, and uploads will be disabled effectively today. Existing videos will be playable and exportable from your video manager until December 15 at noon or Pacific Standard Time, basically. At which point will be permanently deleted from the BidMe servers. All paid channel subscriptions will be suspended immediately and subscribers only videos will be exclusively accessible by their video owners. Any outstanding earnings will be paid out upon verification within 60 days. All BidMe paid subscriptions will cease as of today and subscribers will no longer be billed. Please see our FAQ for more details and email us at hello at BidMe with any questions. It says, why we started BidMe? We started BidMe initially, VidMe, double D's 
before we couldn't afford the shorter domain in 2014 with the mission of helping the next generation of entertainers find their audience and earn a living. Yeah, this is what it looks like. At the time, YouTube was the only major platform that provides revenue sharing, a system which often neglected creators with a small or niche audience. We were confident we could create a new type of video platform, one that was more community oriented, more transparent, and more equitable to creators, inspired by Reddit crowd curation. We also saw an opportunity to improve the experience for both viewers and curators by allowing the community to surface training content. Given the large market opportunity, video ad spend is 84B in the U.S. alone, and the pretending shift from linear television viewing towards digital video, we believe that we could create a sustainable platform to accomplish these goals. What we accomplished, BidMe first feature was a one-step publishing tool, simply drag and drop your file, and BidMe will generate a short link to your video that you could share everywhere, no count required. Instant video sharing, yeah this is what they show right here. At the time, sharing videos were more difficult than it is today. Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and other large platforms didn't have native video. It was often impossible to send large files over SMS, and YouTube required sign-in and publishing to your G Plus page, yeah, Google Plus. BidMe simple one-step video upload drove mass early adoptions and traffic. On a mission to build the world's most creator-friendly video community, we raised venture funding and quickly evolved the product to support creators with a broader set of tools for publishing, building audience, and monetizing. The first BLD platform, yeah, video on demand, to offer both a platform tipping and paid subscriptions, BidMe became one of the top thousand most popular destinations on the web, reaching over 200 million people annually. We hosted millions of videos, delivered over 6 billion views to audience around the world, and our player was frequently embedded by major online provocations, including the Huffington Post, USA Today, Mashable, People, Sports Illustrated, and more. Our small engineering team developed infrastructure that scaled to support thousands of simultaneously HD videos encoded in hundreds of thousands of concurrent viewers. Most importantly, our vision for the more incredible and creator-friendly community attracts some of the world's most talented creators, ranging from the first-time videographers with a passion for storytelling to well-established digital stars with millions of subscribers. Some were earning thousands of dollars per month using Vidme's fan page tools, and many found larger audiences than they ever had before. An energetic and diverse community took shape with Vidme morals, ardent fans creating thousands of videos discussing the platform. All of this was accomplished with a fewer than a dozen full time employees, and in spite of increasing competition, for audience attention from the likes of Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon, who began spending billions of dollars per year on video content. Meanwhile, deeper pocket platforms such as Vine, owned by Twitter, and Bessel Folder, and Verizon Go90 struggled to find comparable traction despite spending hundreds of millions of dollars. What we learn and why we are moving on to something new, although we still believe that the world would greatly benefit from the creator first video platform, we weren't able to find a path to financial sustainability. Here are the major obstacles we encounter in our attempts. Monetizing user generate content is increasingly challenging. Advertisers want to target specific audiences, which means a new platform that doesn't store troves of personal user data is at a severe disadvantage 
relative to Facebook and Google, which combined control 60% of online ad spending in the U.S. Most advertisers want their ads to complement brand safe content. Unfortunately, this is a subjective design nation which it's difficult to define and enforce. Content, therefore, must be throughoutly reviewed and moderate an expensive prospect. As YouTube recently learned with the Adpocalypse, even a single poorly moderated video can result in a PR disaster and undermine advertisers' trust. Few advertisers are willing to negotiate direct deals with platforms that don't have enormous scale, meaning ad revenue rates are lower for newer platforms. In turn, there are less overall revenue to be shared with creators, which means creators are less likely to support newer platforms for a sustained period of time. Although we introduced direct fan patronage as an additional business model, the profit margin was insufficient to cover the high cost of storing and delivering video. Storing and delivering video is becoming less expensive but remains extremely costly. Videos are often massive files and making them globally available at any time is expensive. YouTube sold to Google just 18 months after launching, partly because YouTube's high burn rate and to this day is still likely operating at a loss. When we launched in 2014, we projected that the infrastructure cost would decline due to increasing competitions in the CDN and data storage industries. While marginal price have fallen dramatically over the past few years, our ever-grade costs still outpace our ability to generate meaningful revenue. The definition of scale has changed and attractive audience away from existing platforms is harder than ever. 8 out of 10 most popular apps are owned by Google and Facebook. Both companies also have many other apps that continuously pull users back into their networks. And here's the scale right here. The top mobile apps by penetration of apps audience, as you can see. Yeah, Facebook is 81%, YouTube is 71%, Facebook Messenger is 68%, Google Search is 61%, Google Maps is 57%, Instagram is 50%, Snapchat is also 50%, Google Play is 47%, Gmail is 44%, and Pandora is 41%. Yep, and this... Um, happened on June 2017. Wow. <laughs> Can't believe it. Many creators with millions of subscribers on YouTube and Facebook were initially attracted to BidMe's model, but faced difficulty transition audience from their home platforms. Convincing people to use and keep using a new platform is hard. Leaving many creators locked in, both Facebook and YouTube are also actively deprecate content shared from comp competing platforms. Bidme social traffic dropped markedly once Facebook begins to prodigalize its native player. Without the massive captive audience already on the platform, new channels struggled to find immediate growth as such creators didn't remain active long enough for us to achieve sufficient network effects across channel. Lacking a critical audience, we struggled to attract direct advertisers to help offset our infrastructure costs, leaving few resources to spend on product innovation and attracting new audience. Although we raised venture funding so that we could initially operate at a loss while we grew Bidme's audience, the competitive market changed dramatically over the past two years, most notably Facebook and Instagram began aggressively soliciting video content and courting video creators which led YouTube to redouble its efforts to attract and retain creators. In the face of mounting competition and moving goalposts for achieving 
sufficient scale, the timeline for BIDME's substantiability as an independent platform becomes uncertain. As such, raising additional capital or continuing to operate the platform at a loss became untenable. We started, we knew that we were taking a calculated risk, but in hindsight, we underestimated the speed with which the competitive landscape would change. Insight for newcomers, if you're considering building your own video platform, here's a few suggestions. Monetization, plan to operate at a loss of an indefinite period of time, and or be operated by deep pocket business with multiple revenue streams and touch points with consumers, giving users of your existing products an incentive to engage with your video platform and be wary of monetizing with advertisements prior to achieving massive scale. Infrastructure costs, exploring emerging technologies such as peer-to-peer -peer storage and delivery to further reduce infrastructure overhead. Consider restrictive storage policies and own as much as the physical infrastructure as possible. Audience building. Leverage that existing audience and or incentivize all platforms participants by issuing a native currency e.g. blockchain to incredibly reward contributors What's next for the team? Well, we're disappointed to close something that we put so much of our hearts into. We're exciting and eagerly to apply what we learned to our new product, which we'll be announcing next year. Unfortunately, not every member of the BidMe team will be staying on for the next chapter. So if you're interested in hiring any of these talented people, please email us at hello at bitkitchen.co and we'll contact you. In the meantime, we're talking with some creators focused companies that might incorporate our technology and revive bid me in some new form in the future thank you we feel incredibly grateful for the many people who have supported us in our mission over the past few years thank you to the early community members who have, whose vital feedback helped improve the bid me product thank you for our teammates who put their hearts into building a home for creators of all kind. We're proud of how much was accomplished by such a small team. Thank you for our friends and advertisers who help us navigate the many complexities of operating a lean startup up against some of the biggest companies in the world. Thank you for our investors for believing in our bold plans and for supporting us in our decision to apply what we learned to something new. Most of all, thank you to the creators who made Bid Me possible. Thank you for investing your time and energy into building an incredible community, for graciously sharing your feedback and constructive criticism, and for the light team and amusing us every day with awesome videos. It has truly been a joy to watch people from all over the world connect, collaborate, and to make new friends on Bid Me. And we're happy to know that many of those relationships will long outlast bid me itself. We feel deeply grateful to you and we hope that you will join us on our next adventure. Please sign up here if you want to be notified from our upcoming launch, Team Vidme. And here they are. <laughs> yeah. P.S. Here's some of our favorite art made by bid me creators over the years. <laughs> oh, there's that giant, uh, I think that's supposed to be a brain, and it's just going after <laughs> this Bimmy character. Oh, look at all these characters that they have. Yeah, so those are the creators. They all look like uh, Eva, <laughs> in a way. Here's one. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Bidme. <laughs> Oh, this is so cool. A lot of art right here, too. A lot of artwork that they put up. This looks so neat. And here's one, too. <laughs> I'm just playing video games. Having fun. This guy <laughs> just looking around in the dark. 
<laughs> he's an astronaut. Oh, here's a uh, a model. Wow, look at all these. Look at all these wonderful drawings. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to scroll up to see what we have here. Oh, this is really cool. One clap, two clap, three clap, forty. By clapping more or less, you can signal to us what stories really stand out. Ah, uh, that was it. So that was the problem on what's going on with Bid Me. Ah, uh, man. You couldn't believe how many videos I have already. I have only, so far, 478 videos left. I have 319 upvotes, 6 albums, 40 followers, 76 following, no comments of course, and no tips either. And I can't even upload a video either. So once I put upload, here's what it says. Uploading disabled. We are set to announce that Bidme will be shutting down on December 15. <laughs> there you go. Well, it's just sad though. What started out so fresh is now gone. And we're now going to miss this channel already. I just can't believe it. So all I can say is, rest in peace, Bid Me Channel, from August 19 to December 15. So... For those who follow me, thank you for your support. So anyway, I'm going to move on and upload some more videos on YouTube. And maybe I'll try to find another backup channel, or better or worse. Well, let's hope for the best. So, I lost several video platforms already that I tried and I ended up getting suspended on. Yeah, such as Daily Motion, Live Video. Vimeo, <sighs> Zippy videos, and all the rest. <laughs> so now I'm stuck with YouTube. Well, then's the breaks. So anyway, I'm Joseph A. Saboro. I'll see you later. Bye.